Bruce Pendleton or Ron Burns. And that's a difficult thing to say. I'm going to read this exactly because September 8, 2020, the late article there, the city of Toledo is planning to initiate the game at reducing death violence by addressing it as a public health issue. Mayor Wade Cavett, during the press conference, said the city wants to address the root causes of gun violence, social factors like various inequalities of housing, mental health, employment, and other combined to feed potential violence. Apparently, he believes that our community should suffer through murder and, and violent crime while he goes towards the root causes. It has been almost a year ago since that time. Toledo has suffered over 50 murders, uh, countless uh, shootings, domestic violence, mugging, and stabbings. That is not acceptable. And by the way, there has been no update on this root cause approach uh, to, to violence to tell us whether or not it has had any impact whatsoever on what's going on. Good. Today I'm going to discuss what needs to happen now. I say needs to happen now because it's getting out of hand. If we don't do it, we're going to have it. Of course, it's going to be difficult to get things done. We need public and visual support for our police officers. I've said that before, but we cannot have our officers uh, as downtrodden as they are right now, uh, not knowing if they have the support of their bosses. The morale is low, people are retiring, people are going to other cities to, uh, to, to become officers, leaving Toledo, and our recruitment is, is failing uh, drastically. So that has to be that Not only does the mayor and his administration need to get in front of all these officers and let them know they support them, but the, the city council needs to do the same thing. Because I haven't heard anything from city council uh, as it relates to the violence that we have right now. All I have seen is a, a lot of posturing, a lot of sadness, and all that good stuff, but nobody has come up and said, I support our police officers. That's got to happen right away. Because if it doesn't, you're not going to have what you need to make this happen. We need to uh, reduce, uh, 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 it can increase resources for officers so that they have what they need to do to deal with the new challenges. We need to work with community to make sure they understand their role in getting this straightened out. Because right now, they have to step up to that. I mean, it's simple things like telling your, your child how to uh, interact with police officers if you're, you're stopped and things. And so we have to have some education in that way too because that is causing issues. We have to uh, have officers familiar with their districts. So we want to put them up into districts and have them familiar with their districts and the people that they're working with so that, that they can lead some of the concerns. We need to have uh, familiar officers, we need to request district, district council people to be involved in their districts, trying to make sure that this is moving forward in a, in a police can act uh, effectively. We need to know that the major problem that the community has that we can solve are, are, are solved and the easy things can be done. But along with that, we need to understand our police force more. And I'm suggesting that, that uh, council people and the mayor go to ride along, go to the shoot, don't shoot uh, program. So they have a feeling for what these guys are up against. I don't know that they do. Now, let me be clear about the actions here. I think we have great uh, detectives and our detectives. I do think that we need to reflect the communities that we're dealing with in order to get the best impact out of our detectives and maybe get the most information. So I'm proposing that we work on doing that. Have more detectives dispersed into the community to find out who the perpetrator is. Is this a gang case? Is this a, a random case? Is this a, you know, just a people getting angry because they can have been uh, quarantined somewhere? Whatever it is, we need to try to get a determination of what's going on. We also need to reinstate our undercover agents. We haven't had undercover agents out in the field. They need to get out there and try to figure out what's going on. Then after we've gotten that kind of information, we need to determine whether or not uh, people who are associated with the crime already have warrants. If they do, we need to pick them up right away. If they have warrants and they're involved in crime, we say, no reason for them to be on the street. That won't work if the, the, the uh, judges and the prosecutors don't do their part in keeping the people off the streets until we're able to solve and get a handle on this, this problem. So all those things have to be done. We have to prioritize 
what we do based on that information, we encourage the, the judges, like I said, and my administration, or this administration, we're talking about doing this now, they need to get with the police force after convincing them that they're behind them. And they need to tell them that we're going to work over the next four years to get them to full force. But none of this stuff can be done if we don't have enough police officers on the street. So, we need to show the criminals that we're serious about. It's not a, 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 a turnaround in, in, in this court system where they're going to get right back out. We need to make it clear that we are going to go after even the, the lightest infractions in order to get control of the biggest infractions. And that's going to take a, a, a lot of uh, time, but also some pain among some people as this moves forward. Because whenever you go after something aggressively, things are going to happen. Something's going to go wrong. We have to have commitment from uh, uh, our community and everybody else involved that they're not going to take the, uh, the, the, uh, the popular route out of this problem, the no real popular route to do it. This is serious for the Once again, I submit to you that the answer to our problems are not difficult. It's the ability to fall through and make it happen that's, that's different. I don't think that my two challenges have that. I do think we need to ask them if they have a detailed plan for handling this crime now, today. If so, we need it today because you can't wait until election time because it's going to be much worse. And if they do, are they willing to stand behind them? I have other issues that we talked about as far as crime with youth programs and things of that sort that I'll, I'll be more detailed about as we move forward. I do want to mention that uh, early voting starts uh, next week. August the 60th, I want to make sure that everybody gets registered and votes because we need everybody involved as we move forward. Uh, any questions? A lot of what you described asked the courts, the police department, and even other councilmen to make changes, stuff outside the administration. How do you make that happen as mayor? Well, you know, may mayor's a Billy Pulpit to some extent. And if you announce that this is what you're going to do, then those council people have to decide whether they're going to stand behind the police or clearly uh, indicate that they aren't behind the police. And that's a political issue that they may or may not want to do. I would suspect that under the current circumstances, they would want to be with the police. So you just have to call them out and, and try to get them to do the right thing. Specifically with the courts, though. How do you work with the courts? Courts are a whole different thing. We don't have power over the courts. But I would hope by now, with some of the things yeah, like what happened at uh, Savage Park there, where the, the guy had just been released or had a gun, uh, I hope that our judges get to the point where they understand we can't do this. We gotta, we gotta get them off the street so we can get the streets back in control. And, uh, and hopefully the prosecutors need the same thing. But once again, the mayor is the, is the main, main focus. Uh, they can make those points and they can. Uh, people out to about about these issues. We've got to get something. The, the changes with the police department would likely require more money. What pot does that money come from? We have $180 million sitting there. And, and the thing is that we're supposed to be at full force. So hopefully they're budgeting for it already. Uh, but, uh, but yes, we have the luxury right now of having funds available to us. If we're going to get up to speed at police and fire, this is the target.